How's it going guys? RNG Life here and today we're jumping into ranked once again and this time we're using a mostly trap deck. Uh, now this deck is focusing on Tiki Curse, Tiki Soul, and Embodiment of Apophis. All these are cards that are kind of associated with Odeon and his trap shenanigans. Uh, so we are running it with Chain Reaction, so every time we get to play one of these cards, we do deal a little bit of burn damage to our opponent, uh, but that's just a little bit extra. Main thing we're going to try to do is actually beat our opponent down. Now, since we are running those three monsters, the thing is, uh, they do clog your whole monster zone and your back row. So a, a good addition that I actually got from uh, actually checking out uh, Guns Blazing's video, uh, it was using Feng Huang. Feng Kuang is a really good card in this deck. I was, I had not, I had no idea, man. I, I was not even gonna run this card until I saw this video and realized how good it is. It's easy to special summon all these guys on the field. Uh, you just tribute them to summon Feng Kuang, get rid of your opponent's back row. All their set cards get wrecked. Uh, and we also are teching in a few different cards. I'm running, obviously for the defense, we're running Walls of D. Two of them. I only have two. <laughs> one mirror wall. I only have one. And we're running Triple Jar of Greed. Now, now that I did add Feng Wong, it would be better to run, what was that card, uh, something Gifta Yada or something, I, I, I forget, but it's basically the same as Jar of Greed, it also has the added effect that if you have a spirit monster on the field, you get to draw two cards. And now, I actually do not have that card, zero copies, I never got it from the, not from the trader, I think it was from the reward tickets. Never got it, I, I don't know why, just never picked it up, uh, but we're also running Sphere Karibo to protect us because it is live in our hand. I was actually running this guy at two before, but it was it's it's a little bit weak because I was trying to run it with um, the Windstorm. But there are situations where you have Windstorm in your hand and it's dead in your hand, so that's when Sphere Karibo is better. Uh, but if you add too many of these Sphere Karibos, then it's it might clog a bit. So what I'm running is. Exiled Force, I finally found a use for these guys, and since we are special summoning these guys easily, uh, this guy you basically just normal summon, activate his effect, tribute him, destroy your opponent's problem monster. It could be any anything they might have, pretty much will get wrecked, uh, unless they have a very situational card to stop this, they're probably going to get wrecked. So I think that's what's pretty cool about this guy. It's a pretty nice addition, and then once you use this guy to wreck your opponent's monster, you can possibly attack directly with all these guys, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right into ranked, and let's see how we do today. Bodyman of Apophis is my boss monster. Alright, so we got Land Turtle, first opponent we're going to be facing today, so let's see. We got a Maximilian Pegasus, he's probably going to have Mind Scan. He's probably going to see all of our stuff. I'm going first, so I get one less draw, but that's okay in this deck, because you do want to set up, set up your stuff. Hope he doesn't have Cyber Angels there. Oh my god, how do I draw? This this is not a coincidence, guys. Actually, every time I've tested this deck, I have drawn almost every mo monster. I don't know why. It just happens. Uh, so right now, I'm just going to go ahead and set that guy. I'm going to end. He sees it. He knows what it is. So, let's see if he's got a Dakini or something. Does he have Cyber Angels? Or ninjas, or any meta deck that runs mind scan, basically. Uh, I can't see your face downs though, but let's see. All right, he's just gonna end. Uh, I can already go ahead and activate this guy, so we're gonna go bring him out. So he's gonna take 200. I'm bringing this guy in, in attack because he's 1800 attack. All right, so let's see what we got. We got Tiki Soul right here, and I could straight up just summon this guy and pop that face down. I don't know what it might be. It could be something annoying. Uh, I will set this though. And you know what? It might be a good idea to just summon Feng Wong. It actually might be because my opponent's going to get wrecked. Oh, if I should I go for it? it it'll be pretty cheeky. But that monster's still going to be in the way. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to summon this guy. Alright. So let's see if he has a response. Because he could have a response to Feng Wong. So we're going to bait that out before anything happens. So let's go ahead and get rid of his face down. Let's see what that is. All right. All right. What was it? Ah! Get a lizard. You're gonna bounce me back to my hand. Screw you, Pegasus. All right. So let's go ahead and attack. See if we can deal a good 18, or he'll probably defend it. Does he have a wall of D? Oh, he took it. GG, dude. All right. If I activate 10, basically traps, he he'll lose. But uh, that's not our aim here. All right. Cool. So he's running Gale Lizard. I wonder what he is 
No way, he actually has nothing? Okay, I kind of want to. I'm definitely bringing out Feng Wong. Definitely, dude. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and... Activate! Dude, can he, can he like... What was that card? What was that card, dude? I'll put you in defense. No! Put you in attack! Because I want him to like, mess with it. Okay, he didn't, he didn't do anything to it. So we're gonna go ahead and bring out Feng Wong. And let's do this shenanigans, dude. I, I don't want to normally tribute Tiki Curse because he I think he's the he's the best one I think. But let's see if we get rid of everything. Does he have something? You did exactly what I thought. He had an econ. It don't matter, dude. It does not matter. I still have 18 that I can hit you in the face with. All right, so what do we get rid of? A wall of D he could have activated earlier. But he didn't. Wow. What an opportunist. Looking for that right opportunity. Does he have a Karibo, though? No, he didn't. And we got our first win. I don't know what deck my opponent was running, but he does have a Prismatic Econ. <laughs> That's pretty nice. All right, so we got our first win. Let's go ahead and just jump right into the next game. All right, who's next? Let's see. We got Alexander. And Alexander and. All right, cool. Uh, or ampersand, I think that's what that symbol's called. Uh, we got Joey Wheeler over here, so we're going first again, so we do get to set up. Except this time, they don't got mind scan, so they don't know what we're doing. Oh! Alright, now we got all the... He called me ball-headed. Alright, so I think we have to be careful with what we set. I definitely want to go for Tiki Curse. And Jar of Greed, because I could just activate that easily. And I could set a Wall of D, which will protect my Tiki Curse. So I think we're all set for now. Now next turn I get to set Embodiment. Alright, so let's see what he does. Alrighty then. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is a scary thing. Alright, so he's got that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just chain this real quick. I'm gonna go and chain this. I just realized if my opponent was playing Phoenix, my uh, burn ability would kind of ruin his uh, part of the soul or whatever, which would be pretty cheeky, because right when he activates, I'll just wreck him. All right, so we have Feng Wong already, and he's got Relinquished. Good thing I didn't bring out the other guy yet. All right, so I want to see what he's going to actually use. Does he legit have like Relinquished already? All right, he's going to try to smack me for 14. That is fine. We're gonna go ahead and bring this guy out. You had no idea! Alright, so he didn't even see that coming. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this guy out. There's no need to use Wall of D. So we're, we're actually... We might... We probably didn't even need Wall of D. Uh, but he could relinquish us at any moment, and that would probably suck. Uh, but we do have a Tiki Soul. Alright. Which one of these gods would I rather tribute off? He's not setting much back row. So that's the thing. Uh, Feng Wong is not 100% necessary. Yeah, he protects you from the destruction, so I'll just go ahead and set this guy. It don't matter. Probably going to tribute him eventually, but we are going to try to hit directly. He most likely will have Karibo, because that's the kind of deck he has. Didn't have it this turn, though, so we're all set, dude. All right, so the thing is, uh, that deck is really, it's highly likely to run Karibo, because uh, Karibo has a lot of synergy with Relinquished, so you can kind of tell what he's got. He's got the Thunder Dragons, though, dude! No way, he doesn't have an extra deck, so he's just using it for the, the hand advantage. Alright, he's spinning out the deck. I feel like this is a really old deck. I, I haven't seen people run Relinquished in quite a while, actually. Uh, but let's see. I don't know if my deck can handle Relinquished. I mean, I probably can, because Tiki Curse lets me destroy whatever I want. Uh, but I won't be able to use Tiki Curse's abilities right now. I, nah, not yet. Not yet. I mean, I know Relinquish is coming, but does he take their original attack? Because it is a trap. I, I want to see it, how it works. I, I have no idea. I've never seen Relinquish take a trap monster. Uh, so let's see. Alright, alright, alright. We're going to go ahead and let him. Does it have zero? Come on. Does he take it for zero? Go ahead. Oh, it actually does take it! It actually has 1800! Wow, that's annoying. Alright, fair enough. We can deal with it though. Alright. 
Alright, come on. Come on. I wanna activate him. Get out there! Alright, so we've only been burning him. So that's pretty nice. So, we can put him in defense. And we're pretty, pretty much safe right now. Can't get through us. Uh, so let's see what else he's got. Alright. I don't think it might... I don't think it's worth summoning Feng Huang yet. Uh, what we might need to do... I kind of want to set this guy. Or if, or if I could set up double defense. And I think that might be a little bit better. Because I, I actually I'm plan to tribute this guy. So I think we're going to go ahead and end. I. Alright, we're taking it slow right now. Taking it slow. I did not ex I did not ever really expect a all trap deck to be very offensive. Unless you're playing in the TCG. Alright. Oh, he's got Storm. That's pretty cheeky, actually. That pretty much gets over everything. That kind of sucks. He's gonna destroy all my stuff. Ah. That's the best I got, man. I'll just bring out my monsters so he'll have to destroy the two monsters. Hopefully he doesn't hit a uh, wall of D. Because you know that's what he's going to want to do. And also, I think Tiki Soul does something about this. Protects him somehow, right? And it's got zero. So, oh, he is hitting that wall of D. Alright, fair enough. So he's not a, he's Oh, yeah, he can steal again. That's why. I'm an idiot. Ah. Wild Tornado? Oh, no! Well, it's, it's actually not that bad, because now he can't steal my monster. So, we're technically... It, it's technically better. So, if he, does he have a monster now? Oh, but whatever, man. It don't matter. He's actually leaving it in attack position. Wow, what a savage. Alright, so. We're gonna set. We're gonna set. And we're gonna pass. Alright. I don't know if he, I don't... I mean, he does run Storm. So, he might have more set cards. So, he... I want him to set like three and, and pass. Because uh, he can't attack me. There's no point in summoning a monster right now until he goes into battle phase. Alright, go ahead. I'm fine with that. Alright, he's got the, the ritual. Now he's going to defense. Alright, there you go. Yeah, that relinquish is getting wrecked. Either way. Last gamble, dude! Alright. Pitching those uh, dragons. Oh, he pitched his last relinquish. Or second relinquish. He actually hit a six! Dude! He actually hit six. Don't tell me he's got storm. He obviously has storm, dude. He's gonna set two, he's gonna hit storm. No way, dude. He's got he's got it. Storm. The That's annoying. Alright, fair enough. We're gonna go ahead and bring out you. I don't think there's anything I can really do about it, because I know one of them protects me. Oh, I forgot about that! <laughs> I forgot about that! I forgot I'd deal burn damage! <laughs> oh, that was good, dude. I didn't even see it coming. I was like, why is Joey losing? <laughs> Alright, pretty good. So we got we. I don't know if we deserve that win, but that was pretty cheeky. Alright, fair enough. Let's go ahead and just jump right into the next game. All right, who's next? See, we got Doctor Jaspion. Jack Jaspion. That's actually a pretty cool name, Doctor Jaspion. Uh, we got Paradox Brothers. All right, hope it's not an annoying deck. And if I win, I go up a rank. I don't. Spoilers. I don't think it's gonna happen, guys. All right, we got the Exile Force though. So, three star demotion. If we activate what five of these, we'll, we'll, we got them, dude. All right. He's got ninja, so this is kind of scary, but I I don't know if I'm going to be able to like, completely wreck him. Alright. Alright, let's see what he does, dude. Whenever they lower their life points, man, I feel like we're coming pretty close. I think this guy's trying to go all in. He's got the Black Dragon Ninja going to the grave. He's setting that one to draw. I know this play, dude. You're going to activate it. Alright, pretty good. Alright, so he might have the, the fodder he needs now. Uh, so, alright, there's a possibility of him having all the stuff he needs in hand right now. Uh, we can straight up 
force him to activate it. Whoa, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. I'm gonna set all of these. Wait, do I need to set all of them? Maybe. I'll definitely set these two. Actually, I kind of want to set all of them. Because you know what? I'm gonna go for Exile Force and activate his effect. And force him to go for the ninja effect. So he's gonna have to minus two right now. So, does he have anything? Alright, we're good. Let's activate Exiled Force. Effect? Destroy your ninja? Do you have a response, sir? Do you have a response? Oh, oh, he's got the transformation. Alright, we're forcing him to activate his stuff. That's good. Uh, so now he can get rid of that one and bring out a, another Black Dragon Ninja, I guess. That's cool. Alright, so, let's see what he does. Alright, and the next one can banish himself. So, we just gotta be careful with that. Alright, what are you choosing? Uh, ooh, he's got the red! He actually went for red. Does he? And he's gonna... He didn't have... Oh, he did not activate red. That's legit, dude. He didn't want, he didn't want to banish the Black Dragon Ninja. I'm gonna actually go ahead and set this guy, because I feel like I'm gonna lose monsters either way, so it does not matter. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna end for now. And let's see, he's got the red. I mean, both of his black dragon ninjas are in the grave. Now he's starting to set stuff, so Feng Huang right now would be pretty good. That exiled force really did force his hand though, so that was pretty good. All right, so. I don't know if I can I don't know if I can deal with ninjas. Ninjas are fast, they're strong, they're very um aggressive. Alright, so he's setting. I wanna just start activating stuff, dude. Uh so let's go ahead and uh Activate! We could burn him for six hundred right now if we really wanted to. Uh so let's go ahead and um activate this guy too. That's a mistake. We're putting them both in defense, dude. Alright. Dude, if only I had one of those cards that like dealt burn damage to him. All right, so we're putting these in defense because you know we're, we're we're skipping the animation, dude. Uh, we're, we're putting these guys in defense, so he'll have to attack them. All right, so we're we're good now. I don't want to summon any more things. Let's see what he's got? He just set the back row. He just set this one back here, so he's gonna battle. All right, cool. All right, cool. I mean, I do have the Karibo. Sick Karibo! You didn't even expect that, dude! Alright, so we do get some attacks off next turn, which is awesome. Uh, I need this guy because he's actually pretty strong. So, 1600, my only beater right now. Uh, Pot of Greed, or Jar of Greed, not Pot of Greed, dude! I don't even know what that card does. Alright, so let's go ahead and, and go for the attack position. I actually want to put all my stuff. Let's see, can we do it for everybody, though? I don't know what that other one is, but I feel like it might be one of those cards that destroys something. So I kind of want to use it either way. And we'll use that in the battle phase if we need to. So for now, we definitely want to get some hits off. That might be another transformation. So uh, let's go ahead and attack right here. Because this is this is actually more or less guaranteed to actually deal damage. Or at least kill his monster unless he's got something. Which he does. And is he going to go for... Senior Silver. He might. Alright, that's cool. We gotta keep an eye on their defense. Of whatever he summons. He's probably gonna go for, um... I don't know. I don't, I don't know if he... I don't know if it's smart to go for the little ninjas that destroy, uh... uh traps. Uh, might not be smart. But we'll see. Alright, so he went for Senior. And it's 2200 defense. Not a good idea to swing at that one. And that's the only thing you can bring out, so... No, good. We're gonna continue the attack. But this time, I'm gonna attack this one. Hopefully it didn't shuffle. I don't think it shuffled. Alright, let's see if this, this works. It was that one. Alright, so he's gonna go ahead and uh, chain real quick. This guy might protect my stuff, right? Aww. Alright, fair enough. And we're not attacking the other one because that would be scary. Alright, so that was my plan. It was basically attack this guy at, at uh, Red Dragon Ninja. This one would attack the Trap Ninja. And that would do something. I don't know what it would have done, but it would have been my best move. Alright, so we don't have any more protection. 
We're just gonna have to let him flip his ninja. Oh man, this is gonna be scary, dude. Alright, so he's gonna bring out something else. Which I probably cannot get over. I feel like there's absolutely no way we can take him out unless we get three traps that we can just activate right now. <laughs> which would be pretty cheeky because that's the only way to win. Because of the burn damage. Alright, so. Whew. I activate my monster's effect. Oh yeah, you can just activate this guy. I forgot about that, dude. He's gonna get them both. I forgot about that. You got Do you have game? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet, but you're really close. Oh man, ninjas are strong, man. Alright, so, at 500, he's at 600. Come on. Oh, double jar of greed. We could deal 400 damage. No, wait! We could deal 600! You gave me the ammunition to fight back! Oh, yes, dude. You gave me the ammunition to fight back, dude. You just gave me these cards. <laughs> no way, dude. I'm gonna switch this to on. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and end. My turn is complete. My turn is complete but you draw, and I'm gonna go ahead and activate. <laughs> no way, dude. Do we win? Do we win? No way, dude. We got him! <laughs> Get wrecked, ninjas! <laughs> No freaking way, dude! He did this to himself! He did this to yourself. You put my cards back in my hand! What did you expect? Alright, so that was pretty good, and I think that's a good place to leave off on. Man, that was crazy! Alright, so, let's go ahead and check our rankings. I think that one was a well-deserved rank up, and that's gonna show it right here. Finally, dude! <laughs> Finally leaving the pit of shame that the 6 Sam deck got me into. Uh, so we got 22 victories, GG, we're plat 2. I'll probably go back down to plat 1 because I'm planning on making some other cheeky decks, which is I'm probably just going to get a few losses with, dude. But that's fine, it don't matter, dude, as long as we eventually get out of there. Uh, but that's pretty much it for today. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Duel Link shenanigans. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today, have a great day, and see you guys.